city of mine How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down City of mine How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down, yeah I was born in the city was raised on its edges My pop work is life when it's calm Box up on love in its center If I could live here forever Think it'd be for the better I love the weather Even though it's fog 24-7 I love the people This is city I met all my best friends And I wanna thank every break I wanna thank every entrance To every building that I step in In this city of mine I owe you most my best moments in life See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off And spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keek drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city, you know I'm a small part of this I never really had a place to call my own So I travel and I roam till I find that But I'm full of adventure so I wander and I venture And it's safe to say that really I don't mind that I book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at A spot where I don't spend no money just some time at I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little I brought some weed and baby maybe we could burn a little She said you're funny, I said no I'm David and I left Sun shining, birds chirping, let me take a breath I'm headed to the city where my chance to make it best what people like to give a little then you take the rest i'm hoping one day maybe i can find a place to rest i fell in love with life and wonder where it take me next i like the hustle and bustle i fell in love with the fashion i feel the pulse of the city is moving me like a passion and it's mine We go way back, all the situation, circumstances Still we don't mind, steady going on I dance around the street lights Hey, I know every street sign Hanging around the block like If you are my friend, then you are welcome any moment laughing at Carlos. I'm laughing at Carlos. What to do people? All right. So yesterday, um, was working on some stuff to get started with the new channel and the new channel. I got it set up, but then I just realized as I was getting ready to go record, you know, podcasts or set up for a podcast that it wouldn't work because there's some other stuff that you want to set. So rather than just do it and do it wrong, I thought I would show you guys a couple of the other things you need to set. I set one already and then I realized that it was wrong. And if you're wondering where everybody's at, okay, look, check this out. You guys will see something cool. Let me do a live, uh, what do you call this thing? Let's do a demo mode. Bye y'all. Look, hanging out over in the discord community. <laughs> he got kills. <laughs> Kali is somewhere over there. I don't know what she's doing. She's cooking or she's doing something, but Kali is back there taking a break. Um, so just wanted to show you guys who are members. If you are part of the drop squad, we have a little co-working room back there so you can, you know, go in and get some work done. They don't, we don't hang out and do a lot of talking or whatever, but sometimes it's better than working by yourself. So 
Big ups to Kills and Kali hanging out in the co-working room, getting that work done. And the funny thing is, all now I know that Keely is actually watching the stream too when she's supposed to be cutting hockey videos. <laughs> we I haven't figured out how to get the audio to work, so let me see. Let me do something real quick before I go in. Um, Kills, does this mess everything up? Like if I turn this on while you're there, try to say something. Wait, she's unmuting herself. Oh, okay. And so now what I'm going to do is try to make it so that the sound comes out because I figured out what was wrong with my Ecamm sound. So if I were to take this little camera window and then put it like such and then put it on like Discord like such and then put activate system capture, they should be able to hear you say something. I doesn't work okay i lied i thought i had figured it out but yeah it's it's not it's, it's not you it's me <laughs> hey man you know every everything <laughs> yeah but you know me i don't care i don't care if it comes out funny people would just talk about me anyway so i'll mute i'll mute us in here because we're supposed to be quiet in the co-working room anyway and then i'll do what i was doing nice seeing you bye Okay, so while Keely and Kali are working over there in the Drop Squad room, and again, if you're like, what were you talking about, Drop Squad, Drop Squad co-working room? You got to join the Discord first. If you're on the Discord, you're cool. But then the people that are members of the Drop Squad, they get to kick in in the co-working room and get that work done. Anyway, so let me show you. What I'm doing is I'm in my Mac Mini here. I have the new channel and everything set up over here on the old Mac Studio. And I set up a little, you know, Ecamm. If you run Ecamm on this second machine and just turn it on, um, you can set up NDI out and it should work. So I kind of have that going there as well. And then uh, it's funny, Mike said that he was watching the stream from this morning where I was doing the uh, the demo. So let me show you. I actually left it plugged in and set up. So there's the old Roadcaster Pro from when we we're doing that this morning. I actually still have it set up. Um, I need to take it off before I put marks inside my mic arm and dent it all up. Anyway, so let's get into this. So yesterday we were talking about setting up the channel because I wanted to launch the Creator 50 channel on 420. You know, I'm weird like that. And basically I started this podcast back in September on my birthday. It was a vote from the drop squad. They said, Nope, do it on your birthday. So while I was in Amesbury mass, I did my first episode and uh, yeah. So now is the time to get the channel going because if you've been listening to me probably since before Christmas, I'm telling you guys that YouTube's about to add that podcasting tab. I know it's coming. Uh, so I've been having a bunch of conversations with a bunch of people did two podcasts last week with uh, Jared Spink over on Jared's channel and um, my boy Jeff Bartz from Story Greenlight also did podcasts with Twit and I'm just telling everybody it's coming soon. So what's going to happen if you're a podcaster or you've been thinking about podcasting now's the time because once YouTube puts that button on psh, whoo fam it's going to explode i don't want you to be late right so i'm trying to warn you guys ahead of time so nobody say nobody warn me now we're gonna to have to talk about this because the last time you know i tried the bugs bunny and warner brother i told you guys that the sony zv1 is going to be the bomb and whether you like sony's or not or whether you're thinking you need a new camera or not just buy it because you won't be able to get it soon after it comes out and everybody's like yeah whatever man and then now can't nobody get one so I, I kind of know some things, right? Boom. And uh, Sammy, yeah, you have been, um, yeah, I don't know what you're missing, bro. There's an announcement in the in, in the Discord that tells everybody uh, what, I say we, by we I mean Keely, <laughs> what Keely has changed to the server. So we did put up an announcement about the co-working room. Or I talked about it in class and you weren't in class. Anyway, so let's dive in. Uh, this is going to totally suck for replay action, except for I'm going to timestamp it so people know if you come in at 930, you'll be in the right spot. Basically, um, I come over to my channel dashboard. I'm super cool that, you know, 11 people thought it'd be worth their time to be part of this. Let's go to the bigger slice of this here pie and let's do this real quick. Sorry. I had to switch over to the um, 
the new Elgato. Uh, I forgot what it's called. H60X. I had to switch to that because my 4K cam link finally died. And the other one, I don't know. I didn't bring it back from San Diego or it's missing somewhere. I got to find it. Anyway, let's come over here. You want to come down to the bottom and you want to go to customizations first. This is where we were yesterday. And boom. We, we had gone through and we did some of the basic stuff, right? So we set up all the layout information. We did that. But it says the channel doesn't have a channel trailer. So we're going to do that today. That's something that I'm going to set up. And then we're going to set up a feature video for the returning subscribers. This will end up being the latest episode to the podcast. Okay. Down here on the bottom, you're going to have a section where you're going to sort out the parts that you want. So one of the first things we might want to do is come in here and make a new playlist. Right now, there is no particular playlist, but we're going to do like a single playlist. And then um, I guess I need to make that playlist first. We're going to add a section that will be the latest episodes, right? So if I jumped over to the playlist section and then I say add a new playlist, I would name that that type doc. All right, you're going to hit that, hit public. So when you come back to your customization section, right? Right now, of course, there's nothing in there, but it's cool. You're going to come back to your customization section, and then you're going to go and pick on this playlist. Now, most people make the mistake of leaving it stuck at like short videos or uploads first. You're going to want the most important part of your channel to be on the top. So for me, that's going to be my latest episodes. That's going to be on the top. Then I might have my uploads and then my short videos right so that's basically how we're going to set that up now the other thing i want to come down to is come down here onto settings and let me come back over here and can i embiggen that mm -hmm. why you not do that we why you not do that i'm gonna go like that and then oh i know why because it's a camera Haha, <laughs> doesn't do that on camera. So if I go here, boom, then I can do this. All right, cool. So in this particular area, you want to check to make sure you got everything set. So of course, we're going to leave it there. Then I'm going to click on the channel part. It's going to say what's going to be the country of residence. You want to scroll it all the way down. Make sure you hit untitled states. You're going to go in and put in your channel keywords. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do some research to figure out what I want to do, but I will put podcast because it will come up later, right? And then and let's see. There you go. I'm going to leave it there for now. I add more. You can add up to 500. So many people, well, 500 characters. So many people never come into their channel and they don't put anything into the keywords. And then they wonder why they don't get found in search. Make sure you're filling this part out. It's kind of important. So I'll go to my advanced settings and I want to make sure that I want to be like, nope, this ain't for no kind of children's. Now, you can come in here and clink your connect your google ads account i'll deal with that later because you know takes long to set them not take long to set up but you don't need to see me logging into the google into and all this stuff it's just none of your business <laughs> so i'll do that part later um don't show potentially uh inappropriate words if you're worried about people swearing in your stuff or you might swear in your auto caption you can click that you may not care i'll leave it you know me i like bad words um and then I don't want to disable ads. I don't mind that YouTube goes and makes a little bit of, you know, flavor on top of that. That's fine. Then I'm going to check out my feature eligibility. This is the key section right here. When I came in today, I realized that I couldn't do a live stream to this channel because this was still on black. So what it made me do was I clicked here and it said it needed to verify the phone numbers. Okay, so I did that. 
And that's the part I wanted to show this to you guys because it's important, especially if you're setting up a new channel. It's easy to forget this because this is some of the minutia that people just forget about and they're wondering like why they can't stream. They've taken away taking. They've taken away the thing where you can't stream unless you have X amount of subs or whatever, right? Now you can start from day one. There's a whole bunch of new features that YouTube has moved the requirements down to zero subs. But people don't come into this area and make sure you got your eligibilities all tightened up, right? So the minute I typed in my phone number, Google sent me a code. They texted me. I pasted my code in and I pressed OK. And then it worked. And I was like, oh, before I go any further, I should go live to make sure you guys all see this. OK, so what that did was they gave me action to be able to uh, put up videos longer than 15 minutes. You remember the old days? You couldn't go past 15 minutes. Fine. Gave me the ability to put custom thumbnails. Again, so many people never do that and they don't have thumbnails. It's kind of whack. And it allows me to do live streaming so I can record my podcast live on this channel. And it allows me to appeal for content ID claims. And that means that if I get tagged or somebody else, somebody gets tagged for stealing part of my stuff, I can do something about it. Okay. Um, so there's that. Now, here's the, the last one we want to do. And I'll do this one live with you guys. I'm going to roll this down so you can see. I want to be able, if you might, might have to stream more than two times in one day. Right. So you're going to need to do this. Right. You want to upload more than one video a day. You're going to need to do this. We'll come in handy for shorts. Same with create, create more shorts daily. They just added this. This wasn't there recently. And then the embed, the ability to embed live streams. Right. So all of these things are going to happen. And then once you get to a thousand and four thousand watch hours, you'll be able to apply for monetization. So you want to make sure you come in here and do this. So what's going to happen now? You're going to need uh, a video verification, a valid ID and channel history. So I got the first part done, right? But I'm going to go here and hit access these features. So it's going to say use a video verification. Um, we'll help you create. 30 second video of yourself looking into your phone's camera. This is how they verify you now. It's much, much better, right? It only takes a day, right? Or you can send your photo ID, right? Usually takes a day or so. Use your phone to take a picture of your government ID, passport, driver's license, or whatever. And then you can also do a thing where they basically send you a card in the mail and then you got to do something, or you just got to behave yourself and not get in trouble for two months. So, when you decide which one of these you want to do, you can go ahead and do this. Now, I wonder if I click this, what's going to happen because I'm live. Let's see. All right. You're going to get an email sent to my phone. So I can say get an email. It knows me. And then I'm going to get an email that comes to my phone. And then I'll be able to do that verification. So maybe I can just do that verification live. Let's see if that comes through. Boom, boom, boom. It's kind of cool. I like the fact that they're doing that. So I just got an email. It says to use the video verification to get advanced YouTube features, create a one-time video verification that gives you access to advanced YouTube features. This extra step helps us limit spammers and maintain safer uh, community. The, again, brand new stuff from them. I completely appreciate them to do this. We will help you create a 30 second video of yourself looking into your phone's camera for a successful video. We recommend recording in a well lit location. Check. Uh, um, and a Wi Fi connection. Check it. Check. Check. If you like, you can also get access to these features by taking a photo of your ID and building some history on your YouTube channel. So I'll go ahead and press start verification. All right. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. It's saying to check your browser okay video verification doesn't work with this browser oh i see but i'm using chrome am i on an android device try chrome on an ios device use safari <laughs> funny that right on an ios device you need to use safari so let me copy this real quick and then switch it over to safari understandable because that's where your um your secure enclave basically the um, chip that lets your identity be you exist in there. Okay. So it's giving me that same information again. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And then I'm going to say, I agree. 
So it's giving me instructions here. Let me show you guys. Switch, 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 switch. It says, hold your phone at eye level, right? Focus camera sign. Okay, hold your phone at eye level. Make sure that nothing is covering your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Record a well-lit, not too bright. Make sure you're the only person in the video. Connect the Wi-Fi. Got all of that stuff covered. Oh, I'm going to need these to keep reading instructions. <laughs> so I'm going to hit next. It says, look directly at your phone. Keep your face in the center of the circle. Okay, there's my face. It says, hold your head still. It is basically doing some tracing where it is kind of like checking my my face. Follow the dot with my eyes. Looking over here. Looking over here. Cool. It did that. Now it says look up. Look directly at your phone. Keep your face. It's uploading the video. All right. It says your video is in review. So there it is. It's saying the video is in review. So it's funny because when it was telling me to look at the dot with my eyes, I was doing it just actively because I'm like, why is this dot moving around? <laughs> but then I read the instructions and it says that you're doing that, right? Um, so basically, think of it like your FaceTime, not FaceTime, what do you call it? Unscreen unlock thing. Think of it like screen unlocking your phone, but is using your face. So again, super dope setup when you think about it, because now it will help us get rid of all of these. Actually, we can fire Paul pretty soon <laughs> because it's going to be fixing it so that you don't have to deal with people that do that type of stuff. So let me come back to the browser. And it already says that these advanced features are pending. So again, the, the face verification. I think it's better because I don't want to take a photo of my ID and send it over the internet. I mean, I've done it before, but you're going to want to have the human on the other end, be able to go through some encryption stuff manually, as opposed to computer oriented, just only encryption. So, I mean like a manual challenge password types thing. So this is better. So you basically click that link, open it up in Safari or phone or Chrome, if you're Android, and then just follow instructions, look at these dots and, they're going to be like, why is he talking? They have no idea that I was live streaming doing that. Anyway, so now that it's available, this will come through. And it says it takes roughly a day, but that will give me access to these final features. So we want to make sure we got all of that covered. Just to save face, I'm going to press save first. And then I'm going to come back to settings again. Just because I want to make sure we don't lose any of that. So. This is where you would want to come in next and do your basic defaults, right? So you have your titles. Don't do this. Don't put your title the same every time. That's bad for search. But you can put certain things in your description that you use over and over and over again. I use TubeBuddy for things like this. If you're starting a brand new channel, just use the free version of TubeBuddy. It will help you. And then if you feel that you want to grow quicker, there's a version of TubeBuddy you can get on a brand new channel with under a thousand subs. That's like five bucks until you hit that first thousand or first 500. I forget what it is, but um, it's really inexpensive. So you can go ahead and get your TubeBuddy set up on there. Um, set your visibility. I'm going to leave that at public. And then any tags that you want to put every time, I'll go ahead and do that now. We'll call that... can't type people call that call that all right boom done so those tags can stay all the time i'll go grab my other tags and put them then you can check on your advanced setting i like to set everything for creative commons because that allows people to share parts of your video i, I know there's some people i don't want nobody to use my video to yeah do that but if other people share your video now that you can tag people family i don't know if you knew this you can tag people that only have like zero subscribers now it used to be you could only tag people if they had over a thousand subs now you can tag people whatever and i'll show you what that means in just a second um i can go ahead and pick on my category so for now i'm gonna leave it at education there's a reason for that we'll talk about that later i'm gonna go ahead and pick my normal language english canadian 
and then put my closed caption. I'm going to leave this at none because it's never going to be any of those. And then my title and description language, I will put it at English Canadian. A. Okay. Then, of course, I want to have comments, but make sure you have this on and then increase the strictness of horrible comments. So I'll do that for now and then go ahead and save those features again. I just just to make sure I don't mess certain things up. I save them again. So under manage permissions, right? I can go to my manage permissions area. Ba, ba, ba. And so do I need to add any members to this account? I would click that and that would allow me to do it because this is a brand account channel because I set it up as a brand account channel. I could go ahead and add Paul or add Keely or Luis or whatever to the uh, creator 50 channel. And that's what this button is for. So if I were to press that, it's going to be like, um, oh God, hold on. Just in case they ask me any secret squirrel stuff, there's none of your dang business. <laughs> Let me do this first real quick. Oh, check your device. Sometimes if you have an iOS device and you do the Google thing where you press a number, sometimes it times out before you get done. It's kind of crazy. Okay. So let me do this manage permissions thing and then come back to here. Oh, by the way, gang, universe control is the business. I'm using my just whoop, pop right over here. And then I'm using my studio and then poop back over here to the mini. It's incredible. So like if I wanted to do this right here, I could just click right here and then I can say, you know, owner or manager, I can put manager and then I could put, um, what is it? Uh, it didn't come out yet. Okay. You know why? Because he goes by the, but nope, still didn't catch. Anyway, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to just try Keely for now. See, she, she pops up right there. I could just press this button and it would automatically invite Keely to run the chance. You see what I'm saying? So very cool. All right. Stop that because she'll delete my channel. <laughs> I'm checking the Discord to see if she's paying attention. <laughs> all right. So um, you can go in and move these to the YouTube studio. We got that all covered. Now I'm going to check on my community area. So you can go in here and add moderators. And you add your moderators by getting their URLs to their channels. So let me come here. Do one of these. Oh, Keely, I discovered how, oh, wait, hold on. See, I got to answer kills real quick. Um, so what happens is I am using, dun, 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 about this Mac. I am using 12.4 beta. I'm in the moderate beta program because, you know, I have a developer account. The beta that rolled out this morning, it's flawless. So for you regular um, iOS, not iOS, Mac OS people, when the next update comes, you should be gangster. It is bananas. All that weird stuff. You know, on the edge, you used to get the little pink thing that slid out that lets you jump through or the semi-transparent, whatever your desktop is. It's gone now. It's absolutely gone. It's so bananas. So let me do um, uh, da, 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 P -A -U -D -U -N -C -A -N. pop that. Oh. I just realized something. I am zooming in pandit. So I click on this and then click on this. I need the whole channel, right? So I'm going to come over here, copy the whole channel. I go back to this and then I go like that. And then bam, there's the, the moderator, right? Then I come over here, do this one more again. Bam, bam, bam. Click on this little. Puerto Rican head right here. Double click that. Copy that. Boom, boom, boom. Come back over here. And then so you just slide your mods in just like that. Right. So, hey, how come? Huh, dude, your um, your what you call it, it did not come out correct. All right. Anyway, we'll fix that later. Uh, 
And then as you have approved users, you can add them, hidden users. You put in your list of block words. You can do all over here. Um, so, yeah, you got that all set up. I wonder if you can just type it in. Let me try one. Come on, Doc. Learn how to type. Nope. Doesn't work that way. You have to use the actual channel. Okay, just curious if that would work. It doesn't work. You got to go grab the actual channel link. So I think what it is, is when I grabbed um, Luis's channel, it gave me this ID and you kind of want the longer ID. So I can go squeeze the long ID out later. There's ways to do that. Um, but yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, you need the full URL, not the channel URL. So let me see if I take off this C. And then do it this way if it'll give me the whole URL. Uh, let me try that. That might work. I'm curious. So it might not work with the C URL. There it is. Yeah. So if you accidentally paste one of the C. Oh, no. I just took the C out, Kills. It's the other way around. I took the C out and it completely worked. Right? So let me try this. I hit that. Bam. So when I did this version, that's the whole channel right there. Um, Cause maybe Keely hasn't put her standard, what you call it yet. But if I pop out channel and just hit that, it's just still, Ooh, nope, didn't work. <laughs> but yeah, for it's really weird with Luis's one without the C, it was bringing up something else extra dorky anyway. So I can go like that and boom. There. So now we're all square away with that. Again, if I have any defaults, that's all there. I can close this. I got my increase, increase that on there. So now I can hit my creator demographics, right? So you can do this thing. You need to help. We need your help to make YouTube more inclusive. This seven second survey will start. It only take five minutes, five minutes. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. My channel has one main lead. Yes. Gangster, 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 gangster. I guess I kind of sort of could press the top one, but I'm not. <laughs> do you, uh, do you think the main lead? Uh, uh, um, do you, the main lead, identify as a member of the alphabet community? Uh, da -da -da, not sure. <laughs> um, which of the following? These are cool. If you guys haven't done this, check your stuff and do this because I think this is important to you know for representation and whatnot uh let me try this let me embiggen this real quick so you guys can see the questions it's going to be a little blurry but uh which of the following do you the main lead identify as i can put non-binary more hexual uh does the main lead identify as gender trans no uh they don't have only on the weekends so i have to put no what did the following best describes this channel? Uh, one individual. That is me. Mm, uh, not that way. Are you invited? Sure. I'm in. Thank you so much for participating. So there you go. There, I appreciate YouTube trying to get some diversity. So if you haven't done so, do so. Because what happens is, let's say I went in and I checked, you know, the alphabet box or I checked transgender or whatever. Say June, when Pride Month comes up, YouTube might do some, let's highlight, you know, uh, LGBTQ plus members. And if you've never gone in on the creator demographics and done that survey, you're not going to get picked. And you'd be like, well, I wish I would have got picked for that. It's a good way for your channel to grow really quickly. Right. Um, so yeah, if you, if you're up to it, I would say definitely go in and do that. Uh, Paul did a video. Oh, you, you can also just add users by using their channel ID. Thanks Paul. All right, cool. So we got all of that together. And then the last one is agreements. And I think that's it. So now we are completely saved. I got my customization squared away. I got my branding, which we set up yesterday on the stream. If you didn't see it, how we pick the sizes and all of that, that's all available there. I have my basic info already put in. I put in my link to the, uh, 
I put in my link to the podcast. I put in my link to the Instagram and I put in the link for the community, which will take it to discord. And once we have the official creator 50 channel set up in the discord, I'll probably change this link to go directly to there. And then I need to put my contact info. I've, I got to um, set up my creator 50 email. I believe that I didn't finish setting that up yet. But I'll go ahead and get that done. So all of this stuff is together. You hit your publish. So again, let's go through and double check our settings just to make sure we didn't miss anything. And let me embiggen this for you people in the home team. All right. So first, make sure you got your general stuff set up. Make sure you get your channel part set up. Check out any advanced features, right? Link the accounts if you want to. Um, to make sure you got all that together. Check your feature eligibility. Once this is together, I think I can go and do my custom URL, which will come up very soon. Um, but just if you want to see what these are, be video uplist, playlist creation, collaborations, whatever. And then the second one is basically longer videos and thumbnails, that kind of stuff. The last one is the ability to do more advanced streaming, right? If you're not going to use a program like TubeBuddy, come in and set your defaults. I will use TubeBuddy, so you not need that. If you check into your advanced settings again, set your copy license, pick your languages, things of that nature, pick how you want your comments allowed. Come in here and make sure you check off that you don't want people to drop in any <laughs> all up in your streams. <laughs> so you make sure you got those checked, then check on your permissions. You can go ahead and manage your permissions. I didn't want to type out Paul's email address, so I'll put that in here later. Um, I got my moderators already in checked right there. If you have any approved users, you can do that. If you have any users you want to hide from, you can paste in their URLs there, any block words. So you can go out on uh, Reddit, a couple of different places and get a current list of YouTube block words. I will, when we're not live, I'll go in and put up some of the ones that people that look like me get and put those in there. I don't want to do them live because just don't want to um, go in and do your survey. If you haven't done so already, make sure you got all your agreements squared away. And then you are G T G good to go. Hey, uh, where'd you go? Okay. Come over here. Come over here. Boom. That's it. Okay. That's it. So now the channel is ready and it will be read to be launched as soon as I go in and create a stream and record a podcast today. So that's it. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like on the old tubes of you real quick. Um, let me zoom this back to zero. I'm probably going to record my uh, channel trailer and everything and get it all dialed up and ready to go. I do need to make one adjustment to the, uh, banner because the banner is a little bit huge Magnus so I want to go and fix that but yeah that's it that's basically what it looked like peoples it's it's ready to go so now I'm gonna do next time you come over here you'll see and we got four more subscribers today so gangster gangster that is all let me check on you guys if you guys had any questions I just wanted to do this to catch up for um, finishing a couple of things that I didn't get to finish yesterday because we were a little bit pressed for time. But uh, yeah, I think even even if your channel is, say, been around for a while, you should go into your channel, go into settings every once in a while and check to see if YouTube has done anything because they will make some changes and you won't know. The other thing that's super important I should set up for you right now. Let me come over here and do one of these. In the back here, you're going to have, you know, these are the people that subbed or whatever, right? You're going to see stuff. This section is probably one of the most important sections and nobody checks here. And I'm like, what is wrong with you people? My brother over here comes up basically every week yesterday. What was yesterday? Tuesday. Every Tuesday he comes and he gives you the answers. Like he tells you point blank what YouTube is looking for and why they're looking for it and why it's important and whatever. And then people are like, well, I didn't know. I didn't know that, you know, like how come not to get the memo? Um, because you weren't coming into your studio page and looking. what's up, Raph? Good to see you here, bro. Um, this will be my podcast channel, ref. So if you come over here, always, they give you the info 
if there's anything that they've added with adjustments to the editor or you got some, like you're a brand new creator, right? I just started my channel. Like, what should I look at? Come over here and press this, right? They literally tell you what to do. They even have a uh, creator academy built into YouTube that you can go through that will tell you all the stuff you need to know in order to make sure you're getting the best info for your channel. And like nobody checks this stuff. It's bananas. So here, um, this month, they made some changes to the YouTube Studio app. So you're going to want to check that and make sure you're up to date. You're also going to want to click on this, this week on YouTube thing. I'm going to stop this. I don't want him talking. Actually, this is on this mach opposite machine so it can play through. Um, yeah, so like he's literally coming in and telling you about some of the new stuff that's in the channel. So that is how I know that you can tag a person in your description, even if they don't have that much subscribers. So for instance, I'm gonna see if this works on this channel here. Just to see if this works. Okay, in a comment, it doesn't work, but in the description over here, you can. So. If I go to my channel, mm, let's see. Boom, that's me. And then I click on the community tab and I click on this video here, right? This is Josh. And if I click on show more, Josh has all of our channels and stuff in here. Like every one of us, he put our channels in the description, right? But if I go back to my channel without even the whole URLs, I can go to where I had someone on recently as a guest. I don't think Ray's channel fit the description, but if I go back a little bit, I might've had like Keely on the channel and there's a situation where I literally tagged her in the video. Let me go here. I can find one. Uh, boom, boom, boom. That was Alex and Keely. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I think these guys are on. I think I might have tagged them. No, I did not. Sorry. But um, you can definitely tag people in here. So there you go. So there's a tag in here for FH umpires. Uh, when this is like in most cases in the browser, it will actually allow you to click this and that will work. So you can start tagging people. I don't remember if you have to say you allow yourself to be tagged or not, but they're making it so that you keep people on the platform. The best way to keep people on the platform is make tagging better. Because for instance, I can be doing a video and I'm talking about how to set up the Sony, you know, for a live stream. And then I go, you know what gang, like, I know this was Sony directed, but if you want to see a dope person talk about setting this up for a Canon, I can send them over to Rafi's channel. You know what I mean? I could be like, go check out Raphael Ludwig. His channel is in the description. Just click that and go check him out. You'll see some of the settings are kind of the same. They're just going to look different because the menu system is different, right? So that's what I mean by tagging. So you are going to be able to add tag people in the descriptions. And now it used to be you had to have a thousand people to do so, but they just changed that and you don't need to do that anymore. Now you can do that when the person's at zero, um, provided you got all your other stuff in position correctly. It also might not let me see this because I just started my channel. Like I'm not, it's not fully verified yet. So, but I've definitely seen it where you can click the name directly in the thing. All right, cool. Let's see. Um, Keely says, looking forward to watching creative 50 grow, starting a new channel after you've been working on one for a hot minute means you forget a lot of things. If, <laughs> or how it feels like to have double digit subs, actually, that is a fantastic point kills. That's not even, uh, it's, I, I know it's partially, I don't know if it's, I say it's joking because you're smiling in the thing, but you always smile. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, no, it's true. I, I think I was mentioning that to my friend Marion this morning when we were having coffee. I was telling her like, yeah, starting a new channel from scratch is a trip because it reminds you of what it like to be at square one again and then having to come in and do all the things, right? Because it's easy to forget what all the things looks like and 
also, here, here comes the mean part. If I take a channel right now that has, what, 15 subs, and in the next couple of months grow that to a couple hundred, I want to be really mad at the people who said, I've been doing it for this long and I still didn't even, because that means that you're not doing what you're being told. <laughs> Cause like, I'm going to follow all of the current knowledge base that we know and the current steps that we know, and then do all the things that we're doing. Like this is a real opportunity to eat your own dog food. Why this is funny to me when Dan started creator fundamentals, I watched Dan start that channel from like the first, second day, and he grew it from there to where it is right now from his other channel. So, yeah, I've seen people do this before. I've even watched Brian G. Johnson grow a new channel, whatever. So, yes, it will be kind of a trip to start it from scratch and see it grow. Um, it's also going to be kind of bananas where as a podcast channel, if it blows past the regular channel, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Raphael says watch and read those nuggets, those nuggets every time I'm telling you man all of the gold that you need to know is in that particular area <laughs> the pie is so humble <laughs> right right so yeah it's kind of cool if you're learning it all right now then you're in a good spot like you can start from zero this also allows you not to have to deal with the baggage of, you know, something that you had on an older channel or whatever. Now, it's also going to be a trip to maintain two channels. <laughs> Not easy. Um, and Kills just did it, actually, because she still has FH Umpire and she still has Discord Free Creators. So, yeah, this is a cool uh, sort of experiments in, you know, doing it live on the fly. And this will allow, you know, when people say, well, I want to do this, but I'm just starting out and I don't know. I'm like, yo, pick this channel because it's also just starting out and it don't know neither. So there it is. It's going to be fun. We'll find out soon. Um, first step is uh, get that first hundred out the way, I think, so I can do my custom. I thought they changed the custom rules, but I guess I lied. They did not. It is going to be like 100. And I'm also curious to see now that they have the verification, if that if they make some of the stuff go down because you do verify with a video of your face, right? It makes it a little bit easier to get control of the spammers out there. Uh, I'm only doing my best to humble myself to follow direction. My limited understanding isn't enough. We need others yo that should be a freaking t-shirt and it should also be tattooed on people's forehead especially those people that think they know everything um people that think they know everything annoy those of us who do <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking all right gang i just wanted to run through this real quick with you guys and give you an opportunity to see uh basically how to finish fleshing out your channel if you already had your channel going again Go double check to make sure you set all the sets because you might be surprised at what's missing, especially since they do a good job of updating things all the time. So definitely go and check to make sure you got it all in position. And I will see you guys on Saturday on this channel. Of course, you'll see me on the Ecamm channel on Friday for a demo. And uh, time to go record some podcasts. Uh, if you haven't, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel. If you happen to catch this on the replay, let us know you're watching the replay. You got any questions? By all means, drop it down below. If you haven't subscribed to the new channel, it's Creator Fifty. Uh, you can the link will be down in here somewhere. You know, and that's it. I'll see you guys soon. I appreciate you out in these streets. Tihoo. Hey Adam, bro. Every time Adam, I love that icon. It's good business. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine.